what is lipedema? Well, lip stands for lipid. And a lipid is a fatty acid in our system. And edema is swelling. So lipedema is the swelling of our fat tissue. But lipedema also includes a swelling in what's called the interstitium, which is the area around the fat cells, which oftentimes is how we get lymphedema. So lipedema is a fat lymph and lymphatic disorder. It affects both systems. It is, as you can see in the image, I believe a picture is worth a thousand words. So the torso is fairly normal sized while the arms and the legs and the hips have disproportionate fat distribution. And that is one of the keys of lipedema. What we know is that um, lipedema is little known and generally misdiagnosed. And it is a fat disorder. It's also a lymphatic disorder. It was identified in 1940 at the Mayo Clinic. It's primarily in women. And it seems to initiate and exacerbate with hormonal disturbance. When are our hormones disturbed? At puberty, pregnancy, perimenopause, and usually with some kind of gynecological surgery or interven intervention. There's localized painful fat in the lower body. Mostly, as I've said, thighs, hips, buttocks, and in some cases, the upper arms. Here's the thing, and this is why we're here and why we exist, left untreated and unmanaged. It progresses and worsens. Here are four stages. And as you see, as it progresses, it, it's more impactful, not only from a disfigurement point of view, but from pain, swelling, bruising, and loss of mobility. And what happens is we go in to see doctors and they generally look at us and say, it's obesity. Um, it can lead to lymphedema and immobility. 11% of women have lipedema and don't know it. 11% of women, I'll tell you some of those figures. And the problem is that it can look very different. Each one of these ladies have lipedema at different stages looks very different. You know, for me, my story, um, I had surgeries, I ended up with lymphedema, I had undiagnosed lipedema, and I needed to figure it out. And if you're waiting for a sign, this is it. I was heading for a wheelchair. They told me that if I hadn't taken the actions that I did, I would have been immobile. So, I went to this book, Foldy's Textbook of Lymphology, found a chapter called Lipedema, and as I was reading it, I was like, oh my God, that's what I have. When my therapist came back into the room, I said to her, Melissa, I don't think it's just lymphedema. I think I also have lipedema. At which point I began to do the research. And Drs. Allen and Hines in 1940 they published something called the Staff Meetings of the Mayo Clinic. Here it is, um, vascular clinic. Lipedema of the legs, a syndrome characterized by fat legs and orthostatic edema. What does that mean? Nothing happened between March 20th, 1940 and around early 2000s, somewhere around, I got involved in 2011 but a few women had done some work before in me. And, and what we find is that, I mean, we, we call ourselves the lipedema ladies. Um, and, and it's because we're, most of us are women and we deal with lipedema. So what we find is that all of us seem to struggle with our weight, no matter what we do, how hard we diet, how hard we work out. It just seems that nothing seems to work. It's, in fact, they'll tell you, you know, um, diet restrictions don't work. 
we have had some great res res um, results with some of our dietary measures, but it seems like um, calorie restriction, running miles, I mean, it, I'm not gonna say running, who can run? Um, you know, it seems like it, it, nothing works. And we live with physical pain or discomfort, and that discomfort can be um, anything. It can be from like skin crawling around, it can be tingling, it can just be achy or heaviness, and the, the pain can be extreme, it can be acute, it can be chronic. We seem to always have some type of physical discomfort or pain and we live with it daily. We also live in fear <laughs> that it's gonna get worse, that someday we won't, we won't be able to stop it. It's just gonna get worse and worse and we'll end up in a wheelchair, we'll end up bedridden. And some of us already are. And, but we're here to um, support those who are still feeling pretty good and those who really are, are struggling with um, lack of mobility also. Um, another thing that we all do, it seems like, is we we um, talk, we give ourselves blame and shame. We judge ourselves for this this condition. We we feel like failures. We live um, on an emotional roller coaster. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying anything to you that you don't already know about yourself, because we're trying something new, and then it's we're hopeless when it doesn't work, and and then we blame ourselves. So we go back to the beginning, try again, try again. Um, and we feel isolated from others, different, not able to participate. Um, we're not as good as others, whether it's from the vis visible disfigurement that we're experiencing, or for example, me this weekend when I was in Las Vegas, everybody was walking ahead of me and I couldn't, and so they said something about hurrying up. I said, I'm going as fast as I can. I just can't go any faster. They're surprised by that because I don't look like I'm going to be slow, but the weight and the achiness in my legs kept me from being able to keep up. And then so often we just feel like this is never gonna change for us. You know, that this is where we are. We just, we're here in this, this struggle and we feel powerless to change. So as I've said, we do feel powerless. We deal with it every day, day in, day out. We try to take care of ourselves day in, day out. And it doesn't seem to change no matter how hard we try. And the thing is, we really do try hard. We're even told we need to try harder. And it's like, how much harder can I try? I'm doing everything I possibly can. So I mentioned some about the numbers. So with 11% of women who have lipedema, and again, most don't know about it, 17 million women in the US, 350 million women worldwide. Those are astounding numbers, more than many, many diseases. And this is what most of us hear when we go to see a doctor. These are quotes from women that, I mean, we've worked with women now for many years. My doctor doesn't believe me, says I'm making excuses. He won't, he or she won't listen to me. My doctor says it's just fat to lose weight and exercise more. My doctor says it's a crazy made up internet disease. And basically my doctor says that it's my fault and doesn't believe me. And I, we hear this story again and again and again and again. And that's how we have developed. As you can see, there are many unique uh, looks to lipedema. And so what we've found is that each woman really needs to learn about her own body. So we help lipedema ladies develop an actionable implementation plan to take small steps day by day so that we can gently, let me say that again, we're so hard on ourselves, most of us, um, we can gently establish self-care, reduce or eliminate weight, volume, pain, swelling, 
regain mobility, or prevent immobility, and to live at home, befriending our body. For more information about lipedema and our Lipedema Awareness Month boot camp for June, go to learn.lipedema-simplified.org slash June-LAM-LAM-2022.